So it's going to be kind of a short video, um, mostly because I watched this movie yesterday, um, and I know I watched this movie like two days ago. I watched this movie a while ago. I don't remember when I watched this movie. This is how long ago. This is why I'm supposed to do the video right after I watch it, but I think it was yesterday. Um, anyways, uh, I didn't particularly care for this film, so there's that. This is 1953's Titanic. It was indeed an inspiration for the 1997 James Cameron epic Titanic. Um, I've seen many versions. Like I saw that there was a TV version of Titanic. Um, they always have some sort of romance in them. That was my cat. Um, I quite love the James Cameron version. I don't care. I'm team Billy Zane even though he's a horrible, horrible, horrible person. I love Billy Zane in that movie. This version is directed by one of my favorite directors, Gene Nicolesco, but it's definitely not one of his best films and I wouldn't recommend it as a starting point to his filmography because it does not do justice, I think, to the kind of wonderful, not quite camp, but almost camp he's able to bring to a lot of his films. This one felt very stifled um, and overly serious. And yes, I know, like, the Titanic, lots of people died. This is a very tragic incident. But the film doesn't need to feel stuffy for it to be, um, ser you know, take the, the uh, incident seriously. Really, the only character in this entire film that I truly loved was Thelma Ritter. And it's because Thelma Ritter's always really good. And she was kind of playing the... Um, she was kind of playing the... Uh, I'm forgetting the name of, um, she's playing the unsinkable Molly Brown type character, but they couldn't call her Molly Brown. They called her Maud Young. Um, but several of the other historic people they were able to actually have. So like the captain was the real person played by Brian Ahern, um, Madeline Astor, John Jacob Astor. Um, they were on there. They didn't have a single character that was as good as Mr. Andrews, you know, the heart and soul of the 97 Titanic. Um, but the main, the main, um, characters in this are played by Clifton Webb and Barbara Stanwyck. They are a married couple who are, uh, in the midst of breaking up and Barbara Stanwyck wants to take her family back to America. And Clifton Webb is like, we need to stay in Europe. And he actually, um, gets the tickets from, it's supposedly sold out, even though, like, the Titanic was not sold out. And he gets his tickets by convincing um, some immigrating Basque people to uh, take the husband's ticket and give them extra money so that when he joins them later, they can have an even better ranch. However, for those of us that know that the Titanic sinks, I don't ever remember seeing the that family escape. And so now I'm thinking, like... Did the family die and the husband's never going to know? Like, I, it was a lot um, and a, a missed emotional beat. And I think, um, obviously, I'm generally not a fan of um, comparing, you know, films or whatever. But this film does nothing to um, talk about the class issues of who died um, when it came to getting people onto the boats. And um, the, the one thing I will say about the 97 version is it does a good job of setting up the different classes on a ship like this and how those classes are treated differently in crisis or how they were treated in crisis at this time. This film does nothing about that and focuses solely on the um, the upper crust people. And so it makes it a little, some of the, the stronger emotional moments that are supposed to make you feel really sad, it's hard to do that knowing um with, a diff with the mindset we have now where it's like, yeah, okay, well, what about all the people that were trapped with the rats? Like, you're making it on a boat. So that, I think, is probably a better film if you watched it when it came out than in watching it with um, a 2018 lens. And it's But it's hard to, to divorce something when it's historical like this, you know, um, where we know how horrible it was for way more people than... Um, those that are shown in this film. And and so, you know, whatever you have to say about the 97 version, at least it crossed class lines. So um, it won uh, for its screenplay, and I believe it was nominated for its art direction, but surprisingly not visual effects. I don't know, maybe that wasn't a thing yet. Um, 
It had interesting visual effects, but it you can really tell that it was a um, a uh, a miniature. There we go. It's like a miniature. Um, so. Uh, strangely enough, produced by Charles Brackett, who did lots of great stuff when he um, partnered with um, Billy Wilder, but like not in this case. So <laughs> maybe he needed to be Billy Wilder. So this was 1953's Titanic. I can't say that I recommend it. Um, the, oh, the lead actors are played by Clifton Webb and Barbara Stanwyck. And um, Stanwyck is very like dignified and reserved and she's not as playful and fun as you as we all know and love in our Stanwick and Clifton Webb does not Clifton Webb does not get to be his campy self that we also know and love and so it was hard to see the two of them be so crusty um I want I, I don't want them to be crusty they're not crusty actors um so I don't know that it was maybe a casting issue uh I don't know I don't know what happened here because it's so full of people that I love, and it just doesn't work for me. Um, so this was 1953's Titanic. It has expired on TCM. That's how I watched it, so it's, it's too late. Um, I know it was on VHS at some point. It might be on DVD. Track it down if you're a Titanic head, I guess, but otherwise, I don't, I don't know that I can recommend it fully. I didn't hate it, but I definitely didn't love it. 1953's Titanic.